the news is in and Netflix beats earnings. Share search 5% on Q4 subscriber beat. So they've got all the subscribers they said they were going to get, which is good for them. Uh, but some people think that it's still overpriced, but yet the stock is marching up. But here's something that really stands out, guys. And there's a lot of divided people on this news here. So the company also announced Reed Hastings stepping down as a co-CEO uh, to take on the role of executive chairman. So Greg Peters has stepped up from COO to become Ted Sarandos co-CEO as a member of Netflix board. So the leadership shakeup is going on. So why is this important? Because a lot of investors were not believing in the CEO or co-CEO, and now they're getting what they wanted, which kind of sucks because this guy, he's not a bad guy, right? He's one of the industry leaders and he really understands this, uh, this business, the streaming business, especially nowadays. All right. So what's going on with Netflix? Why did it pop up so much? Why is it back up from the last dump? Let's take a look at the chart. All right, so let's start with the three month chart on Netflix. And the reason I have the three months here is because I don't want you to get excited about Netflix just because of the news and just because everybody is pumping it and they think that, well, it's going to go back up. And they're treating Netflix like a Tesla from the past where they think, hey, this thing is going to the moon. We're back. It's a great stock but guess what i see and if you understand technical analysis you know what's coming next for netflix if this bear flag plays out on the three months so the three month you can just watch netflix quarterly and see if this starts dumping down so one of the key numbers to look for is if netflix goes under uh, let's say about 260. That's when this bear flag is going to start up. So keep an eye out on that. If you are bullish on Netflix, I would make sure that I set an alert at 260 because this bear flag, flag plays out. You guys are going to see a very bearish run. All right, so let's continue with Netflix. And I want to work our way backwards, guys. And don't forget, if you guys are enjoying these videos, a way to say thank you and to support the channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out, guys. I really appreciate it. It's making a difference. So let's go over to the monthly and we can see that Netflix, okay, it is above the 200 day moving average and it, it is trying to fill this gap from previous days, which it's fine. There's a lot of people that believe in Netflix. And remember, a lot of people bought Netflix up here at around 650, 660, and even $680, 90. Wow. So they have a lot of interest to see Netflix go up. So let's go over to the weekly. We're starting to see that it wants to move above the 200 on the weekly. But on the daily, it has been moving up. And one of the indicators I like to use, let me get rid of this little arrow over here. Uh, one of my favorite indicators here on the buy sell is the Heiken Ashi Smooth. If you guys want to learn how to use that, I have no problem teaching you how to use this. Okay. So it is in the courses that I teach guys. So the link below 25% off, take advantage of it. So let me just draw you a small little channel, which is something that I teach in the course as well. So you understand what's going on with Netflix. Okay. So Netflix has been going up. Okay. So if I turn off all my indicators, you can see that Netflix has been uh, very bullish. It kind of consolidated in here which is what we expect before a move up and now we have the move up so like i said even on the three month right that 260 area right in here is going to be a key point because if we go under that then we know that that bear flag will be in play all right, and last but not least, we do have Netflix here on the five minute. 
and you see it did jump after earnings they still have their earning call at 6 p.m i believe and we'll see what happens then but i suspect this is going to stay up around this area unless they say something really crazy and they give bad guidance rumor is that they're not going to give guidance anymore so that they don't get the bad dumps like they did in the past so let's see what happens at 6 p.m all right let's go on to spx so here i have spx in my master chart this is the chart i look at for the sign lines and the frequency and we can see from previous videos we do have the uptrend and spx still has not broken um, support so let's take a look here you can see this white line is the support for spx so it did find support here around 38.85 today and started going up but you can see it is out of this box now and headed for this box uh some people think that it will turn around so there's a lot of stuff going out there a lot of news a lot of rumors a lot of analysts what i'm going to recommend to you guys is follow your charts guys so let me show you something on a different daily for spx all right so we have spx here i've simplified the chart so you can see we had a support line right in there and we fell under support and then support became resistance which is very bearish if you understand technical analysis um, so spx just got out of a wedge and you can see if you understand technical analysis guys and i'll teach you how to do this in the course link below okay um, uh, if this plays out we're gonna see about 38 71 now if we fall under that we can get all the way down to about 3800 which some people that are analysts on tv i actually heard some of them saying that some of the option guys that i follow uh were actually calling that as well so interesting enough i think we continue to fall unless again there are some news items that come out but i don't think so i think the market is very exhausted i think that it's over bought and it's just correcting itself as it should but potentially we could see a fall down in this area as well so for the meantime um i've been playing spx on the bearish side and i'll show you guys something that happened today uh very interesting so if you're playing it on the daily so i knew this was going to happen uh, as it went down okay i caught some puts right in this area here okay but then we started to find support okay so spx found some support in here and then it busted out of this uh descending wedge and then came all the way back up to about 39.22 fell down now i want to i want you guys to see something in here if i add the dollar okay and let me change that candle into a line so you can see that there is a correlation with the dollar and spx and especially with apple which i can show you guys later but you see as the dollar okay started to right in here you see this little curve the dollar started to go up okay and now we saw spx headed down okay so then the dollar hit the top right up here and then the dollar just started tanking and spx and apple took advantage of that and they continued right until this area here where the dollar started to show recovery so then now we had spx falling back down now what does this mean for us for me and if you follow me you understand we're still in this bearish rectangle for the day i suspect like i said is going to continue to correct itself so i expect a move down from xpx this week so let's go on to apple all right so apple had some of the same moves just like spx so i have this including the after hours uh and you can see 
that as the dollar right in here, okay, started to rise, we saw Apple starting to go down. So the reason I have this line here, guys, is if you're gonna play on the daily, use your five minute. And the reason I put this line is so that when it breaks out, I know there's a real breakout coming on the five hour. I have a few other indicators that help me with confirmation. But dollar went up, Apple went down, okay? And then Apple or the dollar started going down and Apple started rising. So if you're gonna play SPX and Apple, make sure you guys keep an eye on the dollar. The dollar is gonna give you a pretty good barometer in order to understand what's gonna happen with the market. Usually these stocks do the opposite of the dollar. So make sure you guys use that. And if you guys wanna learn how to use that, of course, this is in the course and you guys can sign up for it. All right, let's go through some of our FANG stocks. So yesterday I talked about Amazon it was in a channel. Now don't forget, Amazon can have its spikes, okay? And that's fine. Uh, but let's take a look at something that's very important right in here, okay? You can see Amazon is still in a downtrend, okay? It tried to pop up, but it didn't have a chance because it's doing the same thing as Apple. Uh, Google, okay, this is the 30 minute chart. So you can see that Google had a run up, but now it's beginning to consolidate, okay? So remember, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll know that when we go up, okay? We go up first, then we go across and consolidate, and then you're gonna see a move down. So Google is going to play out into this as well. Just like Microsoft, Microsoft is already starting its trend down. Um, so you see this here. Now this potentially could be a consolidation spot for Microsoft, but I think that because of the correction, Microsoft is going to continue down. Now this is 30 minute candles guys. So understand that uh, Microsoft okay, is bullish, but the news on the street is that Microsoft is way overpriced right now for uh, PE. So I believe it's somewhere in uh, 26 or above um, time. So uh, you can see it consolidated up here. Then we went down over here. Okay. Now we can technically say if we want that this is still the channel, which that's probably a better picture since we're on the 30 minute. So we're still headed down with Microsoft. Now what happened with Tesla? Tesla is very interesting, right? So Tesla tried to jump out and it didn't have a chance. So for now, for me, it's still in a downtrend. Okay. Now it did have a bull run right before this happened. And this is the 30 minute, the 30 minute is a really nice candle to look at. So you can see momentum. So you can understand, are we really going to start going down? Are we really going up? So keep an eye on the 30 minute candle. If you guys want to understand what's coming next with your stocks. Okay. QQQ previous video. I still have, um, my <laughs> a nice channel up there with my marker, but you can see same thing with QQQ. It's on its way down. <clears throat> this was a resistance line in the past uh, for QQQ, and now it went under there. So I suspect it's going to continue to go down just like the rest of the fangs. So the market is in a downtrend. I don't suspect that anything is gonna change from now till tomorrow. Monday is a different day, but a lot of stocks are overbought. So be careful guys. Uh, if you were thinking of going long, my thought for now, if it's me, I'm going to wait, but this is not financial advice. I'm just giving you education on where the trends are going. So until the next video, guys, wishing you a green day tomorrow.